Let me not bury the lead. Um, I am here today to announce that the 2018 All-Star Game has been awarded to the Washington Nationals. Everybody at Major League Baseball is thrilled that the nation's capital will be the host to the 89th Midsummer Classic. Uh, the game will take place a decade after the beautiful park here uh, was opened. Nationals Park has already hosted a postseason, but we think the All-Star Game will be another opportunity to showcase this fantastic facility. I want to commend Ted Lerner, the entire Lerner family, and the District of Columbia for putting together just a great bid for the 2018 All-Star Game. Uh, the All-Star Game has become a very competitive process and the, the District of Columbia's bid along with the Nationals was truly compelling. I also want to thank the fans here in D.C. In case uh, we thought there was a lack of interest, the D.C. Ready campaign uh, certainly convinced us that that was not the case. That was Baseball Commissioner Robert Manfred about an hour and a half ago making the announcement about the All-Star Game coming to Washington, D.C. in a couple of years in 2018. And joining us, the principal owner of the Nationals, Mark Lerner. Opening day is special for you, but to hear and watch that from the commissioner must make this day right over the top of oh, any yeah. you've experienced. Well, we, you know how long we've been pushing uh, Commissioner Seelig and now Commissioner Manfred to get one. I, I, I told people this morning that I think we waited about 60 seconds after the <laughs> Mr. Waters' team, where I started hounding him about getting the game. So uh, we were relentless. We, I got to the point where he saw me coming. And he goes, "I know, all star game." So uh, no, we're we we couldn't be happier I, uh, for the city for this organization. Uh, we deserve to be able to host this team. No question. For this game. So much buzz about this ball club, not just locally but nationally. Everywhere you turn. Nationals, 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 Nationals are going to win the the best shot at winning the World Series. Uh, Mr. Lerner, you've been around, you've been a big catalyst on all this deal. Nobody does anything around here unless it goes through you. Well, <laughs> or your father, your father. Um, the buzz about Max Scherzer, and uh, who are you in that process? Well, I think we identified Max or made contact with Scott Forrest, I believe, was after the first of the year. And I think it was, I think it was the thinking of my dad especially that, you know, we're not just in it to win it this year. We need to get that horse for the next seven years because, quite frankly, we don't know what's going to happen with Jordan or Doug or Steven or anything can happen. So we had to make sure with our young guys coming up next few years, Lucas Giolito, A.J. Cole, that there's that rock at the top of the, uh, top of the order that can, that can uh, watch out for these guys. And we, we thought pitchers like Max Scherzer did not come along that often, especially ones with Cy Young on his resume. So it was, it was really not just a now move. It was really more for the next seven years move. Mark, as you look at uh, the past opening days here at Nationals Park and the past years that you've had the organization under your family leadership, any, th any memories that you have of uh, the past 10 years that really stand out above all the rest? We well, can think of a couple of them. Well, certainly uh, the, 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 we didn't own the team at that point. The first pitch, Levo at RFK Stadium and back in 05, opening night here at National Park, obviously an incredible night. Uh, Steven's first game. Uh, 14 strikeouts. The, won, yeah. won the pendant here in 2012. Our first playoff game. Playoff game last year. I mean, there's there's so many memories that that winning streak last year with all the walk-offs. I mean, I could I could be here for a week counting. To, but uh, those are the ones that are top and top of the, in my in my mind. You've done so much in this community. Uh, nothing more important than youth baseball. Uh, the Youth Baseball Academy just announced a new program that was just unveiled. We'll talk about that. Yeah, we uh, people know about our beautiful Youth Baseball Academy over in Ward 7 that my, my sister helped design and she's the one who gets the credit for getting it done. Fantastic facility, but also just about a week ago, we um, we, we are clothing all, all 
uh, little leaguers in Washington, D.C. And so everybody, every kid is wearing Nationals garb. So it's, it's kind of cool. So it, it's uh, there are a lot of colors. Some of them are little, you know, not Nationals colors, but it has Nationals <laughs> on the front. Some interesting color selections. You know, something, kids love it. something else that you and the organization has to be proud of is you promote within. you got guys that start off in the minor leagues, and here's a couple of guys today, in fact, more than a couple of products of your farm system. I don't think anybody in baseball has a better farm system and farm club directors than you guys have. Well, we're certainly very proud of it. I mean, as you know, back in 2005 when the team came to Washington, I, I, don't, I don't think they knew what the definition of a player development system or a farm system is. And we've come so far. In 2012, we actually got the top ranked uh, farm system baseball. And then we you know, turned away some of the parts. But overall, we got some great youth coming up to the system in the next few years that will take us to the next level. And uh, we're, we're excited about it. And I think when the fans get to see the, the Lucas Giolitos in the world, the Wil Wilmer Defoe's in the world, they're going to be very excited. There's some great talent down there, and uh, they just need a place to play. Right now, it's you know things are things are book solid, but they'll get their chance one day. Mark, it's always great to My have you with us. Here, guys. I, I don't thank think you. Ray and I thank you enough for all that your family has done for Good. the community, with this baseball well, club. Well, we, pre we appreciate it. We appreciate great, it, great too. Great to be here with you guys. It's an annual tradition. I know, I know. You're welcome. you got to take this off. It's a little I know. warm yeah, for this baby. Yeah. I started here 5 or 6 this morning, a little chilly then. A little chilly. Mark Lerner, the Lerner family, opening day here at National Park.